I know I normally have a little more build up to start start a week off with this, but the very just coming out of the gate this week, and that was a that's probably the worst phrasing I've ever used too. That's gonna come back to haunt me. If it, you know what, that's our title this week. I dropped it already. I didn't even intend to, and it's terrible. But that's what's happening. Um, let's let's get the intro going because this is horrific. Each week, Catherine, Catherine and the Radio Dead Air audience go out the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible things, bring it back here for a little segment. We like to call "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And um. Wind effect internet, um, it blows the wires around. Probably, yeah. That that yeah, that makes sense. Like, not everyone has wires buried underground where they are. Some of us we still and have. And you'd think here ground. that they would. But that takes But you'd money. be wrong. Yeah, that that's that's investing in infrastructure, and that's something we don't do in America because that's communism. Or something. Yeah. Okay, so um, this is this is like th this reads like a horror film, and you might say I don't understand how that's, and if you don't understand how it's a horror film, you have problems. Oh Jesus Christ! Passenger banned from flying for masturbating four times. On one flight. Now. That already is. Yeah, there you go. There, there, There's Tara's right there with me now. That's not nothing here is good. Nothing will ever be good again. It is the end of joy. It is. We have I have many questions. Let's get to the story. Antonio Sherard McGarrity. That's a name. That that dude has got, got named. Allegedly pulled down his... In fact, in oh, we're losing you there, Tara. You there? I don't... Yeah. My connection. Yeah, your connection's kind of hosed, hosed right now. There you go. Now you're back. Yeah, I'm, getting, I'm getting the fucking beach ball trying to check my connection. So if you're asking me to do a link and check Wi-Fi, that's too much. <laughs> like beach ball. Oh, wait, you're on a Mac. That's okay. Don't start. Don't start. We might have to tether you to your iPhone in a, in a little bit because this is just bad right now. So yeah, uh, Antonio Sherrod McGarrity, which is that is a name, allegedly yeah. pull, pulled down his pants and masturbated midair at least four times on a two and a half hour flight. Yeah, this this isn't like one of those mid Atlantic six hour international you gotta stop over in Heathrow kind of flights. This was two and a half hours from Seattle to Phoenix. Uh, the woman sat next to him, took pictures, and reported him to a flight attendant when he fell asleep after around an hour of pleasuring himself. She was allowed to move to another seat. When the plane landed, she told police that she had seen him masturbating on four separate occasions using both his left and right hands. He told the FBI. I mean, I guess after an hour, one gets tired. <laughs> he told the FBI that he asked the woman if she minded whether he masturbates. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, I've, I've, I've got to rub one out. Do you mind? It's, is that cool? Okay, so Antonio Sherrod McGarity is just a pseudonym for Louis C.K. Yeah, I know. 
criminal complaint said McGarity admitted to law enforcement that he had masturbated during his flight and that he had had an orgasm. So that's more information than we needed. McGarity said she put her hands in the air and said, well, it doesn't matter. And he so he continued adding that he thought it was, quote, kind of kinky. No, no. What it is is awkward and you are terrifying this woman who is terrified, scared of your what your reaction is going to be because you've already asked her one of the most outrageous possible things you can. She probably was like, whatever, I don't care, just don't involve me because she doesn't want you to murder her. Yeah. yeah. This is a little lesson so many men need to learn. They're like, well, why don't you just say no? Because then you literally might murder us because that's a thing that happened. W women aren't. Uh, deferential because you know they're 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 easygoing. They're deferential because no. they're they're in terror. We're just we're just trying not to die. And and you got your dick out, dude, my dude. I I don't know in, in what solar system, what reality, what plane of existence. It's cool to just like I am on a plane full of people. Out comes my dick. Like I world you're living in where that's okay Just, also like i don't know if you've ever flown southwest not roomy just there's not a lot of personal space just jerking it for a straight hour so i hope you get off on being on a sex offender registry yeah, that's... because that is the next stop on your airline journey and it's including i mean Bad, it's bad enough. You're never going to be able to fly Southwest again. Um, because they're like, yeah, that's sort of like one strike and you're out. What did I do? Yeah. You jerked off for an hour. To the point where they had to move someone sitting next to you because you wouldn't stop jerking it. Like, I know they're the only airline that lets you bring bags anymore. They don't mean sack. <sighs> oh. Just, just luggage. So, so now just coming out of the gate, you see what happened there. I didn't even mean, yeah, for it to happen, but it happened, and now we're now we're all living in it. And I can't. I'm sorry. Hey Simba, can I help you? You're just gonna literally chew on the bookcase next to me. This cat. I don't know if your cat. He will just gnaw on things that should not be gnawed on. Like a bookcase. Grady used to. Well, Grady still does that with like any kind of plastic. But the bookcase. Peggy the, loves to chew plastic. Grady loves also. He loves to chew the. the you know the the um, control handle on the bottom of your chair that makes it go up and down. Oh yeah. It's got a little knob on the end of it. He lo loves to chew that little. I don't know why. I don't. I don't know why. The, the big tiny little demon that lives in our house. Um. You know the things they put so that your door doesn't slam into the wall? Boring, boring. Yeah, boring, and they make that sound. Boring, boring. She loves that sound so much that she has ripped all the rubber stoppers off all of them. Boring, boring, boring. Yeah. So. It's a great. So, uh. That, that's that's where we're starting. So I was like, oh, God, this is only the first story. I mean, for fuck, the dude didn't even have the common goddamn decency. If you really, 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 absolutely, positively, your life depends on it. You've got to rub one out. Go to the bathroom. Yeah, but he thought it was kind of kinky. Ugh. To make a lady watch because men are trash. I look forward to your YouTube comments. Go fuck yourself. Uh, hey, guess what, Tara? Florida! So, one thing, I don't think a, a lot of people who didn't grow up late 80s, early 90s, I don't think you understand. We lived in a constant state of existential dread. We, were, we were, had this drilled into us from childhood because there was an entire country that wanted us to, to turn us into a radioactive wasteland. That's what we were taught. 
it was drilled into us it was schooled into us there was steve, and it's it's coming back in style steve gutenberg did a mini series about it and it 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 fucked us up to the point where you even mentioned nuclear none of us take that shit lightly it's just it 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 was way beyond duck and cover i just lived in what's called the nuclear sponge this part of the country during all that panic is where they put things like norad and a lot of the nuclear targets because at the time nobody fucking lived here ah yes well now it's a population center everybody's moving in from the coast but we are what is known as the nuclear sponge because we were the part of the country that was unpopulated enough to absorb a nuclear attack you're not far from yucca mountain either that, that's another nice mm-hmm. one that's, that's where they put all the the cancer goes in there yeah um, you know what they put on top of the mountain that houses norad a zoo a really fucking nice zoo Far cry from Stargate. Anyway, um, so yeah, why I bring this up is the audacity of this motherfucker to take what haunted us as children, what has begun to haunt us yet again, and try to get out of a speeding ticket. Florida man's Putin made me do it excuse for speeding doesn't work with traffic cops. Um, this is, was actually recorded on the body cam. Officer, do you know the reason I stopped you, driver? Yeah. How fast do you think you were going? 40? Don't even. 50? 50? 50 and a 30. I'm so sorry. I'll need to see your license, registration, proof, insurance. At that point, the driver keeps saying, I'm so sorry. Um, so he, uh, I was trying to get it out of, it was in sport mode, and I was trying to get out of it. I just got this thing okay. The the driver abandons the sport mode excuse and cites a phantom vehicle. I saw a car coming, and you didn't, because I was sitting right there. I saw a car coming and wanted to get out before them. You hopped on the gas, and you took off. I'm so sorry. And now we get to it. I just found out, I'm trying, to tell you the truth, guy, I just found out that Putin said he's going to launch nuclear thermal war. That's not how that, it's it's thermonuclear, against the world, and I was trying to get back to my house to find out what was going on. All right, listen. So I do love the idea of Putin as Mr. Freeze. (laughs) The Arshman Commerce. I, okay, listen. Yeah, your car has a radio. That's true. That radio has NPR. Do you know that was how I found out about 9-11? That morning, really? driving to work, radio, NPR. That's how I found out about 9-11 was happening. Simba, no, don't you want his glasses? Come Yay, on. Hey, Simba. <sighs> He's helping. We're just going to have chaos. Hey, do not chew on glasses. Those are expensive. I don't even know why he left them on his desk. Can we not eat the pens either? Here, sit in the chair. Sit in the chair. There we go. Good boy. Or leave. Or leave. Leave is an option, too. It's... Listen. What do you think you're going to be able to do at home that you couldn't do in your car in the event of a fucking thermal nuclear detonation? I mean, try and run away, but you're not going to. No, you're not. You are not going to make it out of... I don't care if you have a Challenger. You're not making it out of the death radius. No. The the fucking audacity of this... Oh, okay. Well, he didn't believe me about the sport mode. And uh, I didn't believe about the car that was. Maybe he'll believe me that I'm scared of Putin. Maybe that'll work. Also, Putin's not going to nuke Florida. You know why? Because he doesn't fucking need to. (laughs) 
what who could tell the difference to be honest hey right. like you're already a national fucking ass sore mm. i look forward to your comments he doesn't need to he just needs to let you florida at us forever <laughs> And that's a fate worse than death. It's its own kind of radiation. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing back there? I'm... I just, it, it offends me on levels. Because I'm like, you yeah. didn't, oh, you motherfucker. And I love that. I love that the cop was just not having it. it was just, yeah. Just not, just not fucking having it. Like. Can you imagine just being there and this this asshole is trying to? Well, you know what? They probably must hear the worst fucking excuses every goddamn day. <laughs> they probably have like an office pool for who got the worst excuse, and he won that day. He did. He did. Moving he was around. like, "You guys are not going to believe this. Luckily, I got it on tape." Speaking of absolutely bullshit excuses. One of the side effects of LARP has been, uh, we, we've dealt with a whole lot of, of ridiculous props, and I don't know what it was about dudes doing vampire LARP and the sword games. <laughs> there you go. You know, you feel it. You, you felt that in, yeah. You felt that here. right here. Here. Is all the vampires carrying around sword canes, of course. That's the thing. Um, we were very over it a while back. Mm -hmm. And the thing about a sword cane is you know it's a sword cane. And the reason you know it's a sword cane is because you will, at any given moment, tell everyone around you that it's a any time, any moment to show people the fact that you are carrying around a sword, you will take that opportunity. It's like women when our dress has pockets. <laughs> Everybody has to know. That we have fucking pockets. We gotta tell everybody. Well, uh, there, which is why I do not believe this guy. I do not fucking believe this guy. Um, Traveler told TSA he, quote, no idea sword was concealed in cane. Transportation Security Administration officers at Boston Logan International Airport discovered a long blade inside a traveler's cane. On Tuesday, man said he, quote, had no idea the blade was in there. After being questioned uh, by Massachusetts State Police, the man surrendered the cane and was cleared to continue his travels, which he probably shouldn't, but. <sighs> I don't. How the fuck you didn't know? Yeah. And I'll tell you how the fuck you. For one thing, look at the handle of that fucking thing. That that is one. Yeah, of like it's made for wielding a sword. Yeah, it's that is one of the worst concealed sword canes I've ever seen. For another, one of the things about sword canes is they're not very sturdy. They are not meant to be used as real canes. As like a cane, yeah. You're not meant to put your full weight on it because it's not structurally sound. I, I'm sure someone out there on the internet will go, well, actually, because you have actually, no friends. I have one and it's perfect and I've been using it for years. Okay, cool. Don't bring it to the airport. Yeah, someone out there will go, no, this one's perfectly structurally maintained. Yes, I'm sure there are a few. But generally, especially the mass produced ones, those are fucking yeah. jokes. Yeah, Th those are absolute jokes. So I always get a kick out of the dudes that have these because like, look, you are not Lucius fucking Malfoy. Right. And if 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 shit goes down and you want to pull out your blade, you are not going to look cool doing it. It's not going to go like you imagine in your head where you're going to be like, Fling! no, you know you're going to. You're going to fight with it and you're going to jerk it off for a while. You have to and it's gonna, then you're going to right. Then you're going to figure out it has to screw off and that's going to take forever. And by then you're already dead. Yeah. The, the, there's a reason that in Highlander, they didn't use sword canes. Because... And the stupider part is a cane is already a great fucking melee weapon. 
you can beat a motherfucker with a cane. You could take out a motherfucker's knees with your cane. So easy. Knees. And then it's not murder. <laughs> knees, shit. You can clock someone right here. Just take. Yeah, but that could be that could be murder. Flip the cane around that hard end and just boop right there. Just that that, that is the button that shuts them off. That is the off. People switch. don't really die from getting their knees bashed in real hard. I speak from experience because my knees have been bashed in a lot. You you, you want battery, not murder. This is what happened here was, oh, they won't notice was the thinking. How will they ever Sword know? teams can be stylish. Found them. H how will how will they notice? How will they ever? Not the fact you put the fucker through an x-ray machine. That's kind of a thing. You don't. Uh, next up. OK. I have been, this is the kind of thing that has annoyed me for you. I'm probably, I was always an old man. You've seen these stickers. We've seen these stickers our entire life. Andre the Giant has a posse. Six foot one. You've never seen that sticker. You're lying. You've never seen the Andre the Giant has a posse sticker. Because that shit was fucking everywhere. It's still everywhere. People would slap those. So. They would slap those on every goddamn thing that would stand still long enough. I mean, I've seen Calvin peeing on pretty much every logo there is. Yeah, but see, that, that, there you go. It's part, seven foot four. There we go. It's part of our cultural heritage. That's right. There you go. There you go. You guys, under, you fucking understand it. You have never seen. What the fuck? So? You are all lying. You are all lying. Anyway, that was, that was like, it was fucking, it's fucking, you're liars. Anyway. Um, so part of why that annoyed me was they'd slap these goddamn things all over everything. And it's, it's not, somebody had to take that shit off. I mean, if it was like a light pole or something or stop sign, nobody fucking cares. But if it was like a fast food window or some shit, somebody had to come out. They'd have to get the scraper. They'd have to get the fucking sticker off the fucking window because the fucking manager went right up their fucking ass about it. And you know, I'm sitting there going, man, what the fuck? These are googly eyes. Every drive through I go to, all the burgers or like Starbucks, all the drinks have googly eyes on them. So you can, and so this one annoys me on, you know what? Fuck your fucking uh, stupid ass political opinions that, that are entailed in this. What pisses me off about this one is your, your entitled fucking asses has, which the irony here is just has no concept of what private property means. Uh, Lancaster County man arrested after putting Joe Biden sticker on gas pump. Send you the link because that would probably help. Um, now you're like, isn't that a little harsh? You're arresting him. Oh, wait for it. Um, average price of gasoline hovers around uh, 413 per gallon. Actually, it's come down quite a bit. Uh, but some people are putting their, are take, putting their frustration to actor by taking to the street into action by taking to the street with stickers. All across the country, people are placing stickers on gas pumps that depict Joe Biden. Uh, pointing, if placed correctly, at the price of gas with I did that scrawled beneath, which is not how that. No, but OK, sure. Why do we still think that? Because people want to just be provocative pieces of shit. Um, according to a bystander who filmed the incident, things got heated. Uh, one Lancaster man was arrested after an employee at a Turkey Hill convenience store saw him placing a sticker on a gas pump. According to a bystander, things got heated when the employee and Thomas Richard Liz 
Glazowski. Glazowski. Wow, 54. Glazowski hurled expletives at them. I did that. I did that. That's what I did. Glazowski screamed at officers. Well, you're making their job very easy. Ironic. But considering the sticker, that's yeah. ironic. Yeah. Uh, when Glazowski attempted to run, officers quickly closed the gap and tackled him. I'm going to get a lawyer for this shit, he said, face down in the parking lot. Um, according to Lancaster Online, a Turkey Hill employee told police Glazowski sprayed the stickers with something that made them more difficult to remove. See, that's the shitty thing here. You already have a shitty political opinion. What the fuck ever? I can't fucking stop you from being a fucking moron. Fine. Fine. But now you're making it this guy's problem. This minimum wage fucking barely making it got like getting like 29 hours a week just to make sure they're not entitled to health care. Motherfuckers. And for what? For what? For her der der der? Yeah, that that's <laughs> all you're doing is annoying the fuck out of people. That's it. You you what what do you do? It's so they're like, oh, you're so owned. Am I? No. Let's I'm go, just... Brandon. Oh, you're so offended. No, I'm just very Am tired. Am I? I'm just very tired. I just kind of think you're a jackass, but. I mean, I'm over here. I will happily say fuck Joe Biden for many reasons. Cancel student debt. I will say it for many fucking reasons. And you're over there like, oh, let's go, Brandon. What? Really? Uh, you, you can't say fuck Joe Biden? I can say it. Like, fuck we Joe. all said fuck Donald Trump. Right. Yeah. I had no problem saying fuck Donald Trump to anybody who would listen. I, I, I don't know what. But the, and it cracks me up that they think this shit really fucking offends and hurts people. And really, everyone's just like. You're a baby smearing your diaper, your shitty diaper on the walls for attention. What do we do with you? And, and now you're doing this. Sh the fucker's got to deal with your bullshit. It's private property, which is ironic. You would think the one party that would grasp the concept of respecting private property, this would be. They them. don't. Remember fucking mask mandates? Yeah. This is a public place. No, actually, this is own this strip of land is owned by Target Corporation. <laughs> and we can tell you to do whatever the fuck we want. We can decide to shop here. You have to hop on one foot. Like Yeah. Nash, I think your personal email is on screen. I, I took care of it. Okay. The beauty of being able to edit later. Uh so yeah, there's motherfucker. All right, well, let's let's move right along to back to Florida. God damn it. Okay, this this is certainly a mugshot. Um and this is uh, this is one of those if, if it's like they, we used to have the match game, like you have to to pick something that goes with something. And if I had to to match a mugshot to a story, yeah, this 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 would be yeah. This this would be uh Florida man arrested after hiding live alligator in his truck. Michael uh, Marola had animal inside an open plastic tub in bed of his pickup, along with two firearms. Baby. Now, if you're sitting there. That's not a nice place for an alligator. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, didn't you do the story? No, it just happened again. Also, don't give alligators guns. <laughs> They're not responsible. <laughs> Deputies found a live baby alligator inside a truck during a traffic stop Friday. Um, Deputy said Michael Marola, 31, had the am animal inside an open plastic tub in the bed of the pickup, along with two firearms. I'm uh, sorry, that man is 31? In addition to the alligator and the firearms, as if there, did, there were needed to be in addition... Deputies also found syringes loaded with methamphetamine in Marola's jacket. I didn't through syringes. I thought you smoked it. No, you can, oh, you can do it any goddamn way you want, honestly. I mean, that explains, because 
Yeah. I am 14 years older than this man. And I'm not saying I'm going to get a centerfold and playboy anytime soon, but goddamn. He's got the Spock brow going, you know, the that's a hard 31. Those are like Sharpie Dawn. <laughs> and I know we try not to make fun of people's looks and I'm shitty for doing that. I'm just you said he was 31 and that's a hard 31. Don't do math, kids. So you've got it. You, you got a baby alligator. You've got two firearms. You've got syringes full. How much more Florida can you be, my dude? Yeah, for real. Like, did, did was it was the truck full of oranges too? Because that that would be. Like the... <laughs> did you say gay? <laughs> oh, oh, that's not allowed there anymore. Uh, it's just it. It's. What are you doing? That this this is okay. First, you have a baby alligator. Baby gator. Then you have firearms. And you know in your pocket is fucking drugs. D d what happened to trying to conceal your criminal activity? Like, in general, isn't this a question we ask at least once a week? What went wrong? When did we forget that you're not supposed to advertise your crime? I guess he figured go big or go home. I guess. <laughs> Uh, Rachel says, only way to make it more Florida is nudity. Yep. Mm, yeah. Yep. But, you know, you don't you don't want your dick out around a gator, even if it's a baby. <laughs> Especially if the gator has a gun. All right. Last one this week. And um, I'm ashamed that I watched this movie so much. Leches gators. Did did you ever watch the Boondocks? I of course you watched the Boondocks. Of course I did. Um, people told me I had. People assume I love that movie because I'm Irish, and I'm like, it's it's not a good movie. It really isn't. Except I will say the most amazing thing was having the guy I grew up with on Fraggle Rock, Doc, the guy from Fraggle Rock with the dog. Screaming fuck ass in the middle. That of was him. That was him. Yeah, you didn't wow. know that. Yeah, that was that. Um, that was amazing and and beautiful to me. I mean, I had a big old crush on Sean Patrick Flannery when he was on Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. Yeah. So that was pretty okay. And I mean, I will say Willem Dafoe carries that movie on his back. Now, now I realize some of you out there might be wondering why I'm bringing this up. Why I'm talking about the Boondock Saints. It's because it was the very first thing I thought of when I saw this headline. Man flees Altoona police, throws toilet from roof of apartment building. <laughs> and some of you out there who have never seen the movie are like, what? And those of you who saw the movie are like, Blair County man is facing a slew of charges after Altoona police say he assaulted numerous people at Nick's grab and go. That's not what that means before climbing to the top of an apartment and throwing a toilet at them from the roof. Carlos Ortiz, 47, allegedly went to Nick's on 6th Avenue on March 27th. Hi, Simba. Hi. No, we can't be on the desk right now, but we can say hi to the Internet. <laughs> OK, bye. Okay. Um, Dan's not home, so he's just, it's fucking anarchy. He began to physically attack customers and struck numerous vehicles with plastic signs before striking someone with a sign. Witnesses said, told police he said he had a gun and threatened to shoot one of the victims. When a female employee tried to get Oritz to leave, he struck her with the sign and pushed her against a wall. He then chased after her when she tried to run back inside. Or it's allegedly broke the mirror off someone's car before going inside the store where he hit the female employee and then punched a man in the face. 
police arrive to find, or it's climbing a nearby fire escape, or it's through a rocket officers before climbing onto the roof of the building. He then proceeded to throw a toilet off the roof, along with a paint can and a chimney cap directed at Altoona police. Boris broke a window out and entered the third floor of the building where police were finally able to arrest him. What the shit was going on here? What? If you have a gun, you're not going to waste your time hitting people with signs. You're going to wave the gun at them. You lead with the gun. It's not, you don't hold it back. That's not what Chekhov's gun means. No. That's, that's. Well, yeah, per, per, people you're like, not going to be hitting people with signs of being like, I have a gun. Don't make me do it. Lady Sapphire Cat, the channel's like, where do you get the toilet? That is yeah, an excellent question. That, I think, like, it doesn't say he's charged with attempted murder, but he probably should be, because if a toilet falls on you from three stories, you are probably going to die. Well, maybe it was They just, weigh a lot. Well, maybe it was just some huge freaking guy. Simba! Simba. Oh, you missed that one. You, you just, that one went I, right I'm sorry. You. We got a huge freaking guy theory. <laughs> Could you get down, please? I know dad's not home and you don't know what to do with yourself. Art toilets kind of heavy. Yes. They yep. Yep. Thanks. All right. He's comfy. Um, I just. What was we got a we got a serial crusher theory, huge friggin' guy theory. What was the goddamn plan? Chaos is, I just what? Listen, if I'm going to provoke, if I would ever provoke a confrontation with the goddamn police with the people who can murder me with impunity in the United States of America. If I'm going to, he dropped a load. Oh, let me course. If I'm going to provoke uh, some sort of confrontation with the men with the guns, it's going to be for a goddamn good reason. Okay. Not because you were bored that day. No, it's, it's going to be, I'm going, you know, if I have, if, if I'm in that kind of situation, it's it's going to be, you know, give me liberty or give me death. It's going to be one of those fucking, you know, the 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 third, the final scene of the blockbuster kind of moment. That's what I'm going to go with there. It's not just going to be at Nick's grab and go. Being chased by the cops and throwing toilets at them because they were out of bang energy or something. Because I feel like there's a bit of the story we're missing here. Yeah. We're missing some pieces. What was on those plastic signs? What what was or was did he just find them and just start swap, slapping people with them? Because it is we're coming close to primary season. There's there's plastic signs all over the goddamn place. Maybe the signs told him to do it. Hmm. Potty emergency, you're doing it wrong. Yes, Grace Bruce. Because I'm trying to, where did you see the episode of, of Scrubs with Michael J. Fox and the roof toilet? No. You never seen that? Okay. Uh, that's the only thing I could think of is the roof toilet. But even then, I'm still baffled. It's, it's like you're in the middle of a video game and you come across an object. Like, I don't know if you ever played like shit like the arcade games, like, uh, the TMNT fighting game or, or the Simpsons game or any of those. And you'd find an object just lay in the background. And you'd be able to pick it up and hurl it at people like a trash can or a lot or, or, or post office box. I or, mean, you can do that in GTA, right? Well, no, not really. Actually, you oh. just shoot people. You don't, really you can make a whale fall from the sky, but you can't throw a trash can. Yeah. Well, that's an, actually the whale thing is a hack. That's not part oh. of it. Yeah, that's not normal gameplay. You're not really oh. you're supposed to throw things. Um, he was having a very bad bidet. Oh. Rajamic, that is, is And just again, 
The employees in that store definitely do not get paid enough for this shit. That chick that got hit in the face with a sign, probably making ten dollars an hour. This, yeah, this is how we lose our entire fucking workforce. It's just realizing, you know what? I don't have to do this shit. This isn't worth it. This is I. This is not a life. This is what are you doing? So yeah, I guess I guess the first thing we learned this week is um, in life sometimes there will be toilets just randomly in places you wouldn't expect them. You gotta Im- imagine those cops down there like, please sir, come down from the. Did he just throw a fucking toilet? What the <laughs> fuck? Do you think we could do? One of the hardest games of Would You Rather with our random shit generator. The, the, the random shit generator that is this show. Like, <laughs> would you rather be hit by a randomly falling toilet or have a dude masturbate next to you on a four-hour flight? Toilet. I mean, I might die. Like, would, you but... rather, <laughs> would you rather suddenly penis? Or would you rather suddenly baby gator? Gator. Dot, Dottie appears to say gator too. See, she just chirp. Maybe I'm weird, but this it just feels like one hour of just some random dude jerking it next to me, and I can go nowhere. That feels like death all by itself, right there. That that I, I that yeah. Um, we've learned this week that maybe, just maybe. If you're in possession of highly illegal drugs, don't have every kind of thing to get the attention of law enforcement in your vehicle. Yeah. It's not really kind of drawing attention to it. We, we've learned that um, making other people's jobs harder is not a way to sway them to your way of thinking. It's I I don't know what you're trying to accomplish other than (laughs) Um, we've learned that sword canes. If if someone says I have no I had no idea this was a sword cane, they're lying to you. Because it's like it's like that old joke about how do you know if someone's a vegetarian? They'll tell you. Maybe, maybe that's how you know you can believe them because they definitely would have mentioned it <laughs> if they knew. Like maybe that was legit because he definitely otherwise would have told everybody he encountered. Yeah, we've learned that my childhood uh, existential terror is not your way of getting out of a speeding ticket, you son of a bitch. And uh, finally, we've learned this week that uh, there are people who will think that your attempt to get to to try to move out of the awkwardness of the situation is an invitation to begin masturbating at them. Yeah, those people are called men. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Jesus Christ. Not like, all men. Like for f- all men. Not all men. Like for fuck's sake, I just what the like now like I I am taking a flight later this week and I think I might be flying southwest, I don't remember. And like every time you get on a plane for the rest of your life, are you not gonna think about that? Like, did somebody fucking jizz in this seat? Well I am now. 